So my name is Anne, and before um, the condition, I had a fairly active lifestyle, not in terms of going out and running marathons, but I was working, um, very, very social person. I have a husband and dogs. We would be out with them a lot, um, eating whatever I want, having cocktails <laughs> and enjoying life. When I was in my late teens, I had a period of being very ill and we didn't know what was going on and went to an, uh, what was then um, just called a crazy doctor, but now is called a, probably a functional medicine doctor, integrated doctor. And he helped me so much, completely changed my lifestyle and diet and um, got me living a lot cleaner. And I was able to do well for quite a number of years. And about, I would say seven or eight years ago now, um, we moved to a new new home. I moved out of a city into the country and became ill. At first, I thought I was getting menopause symptoms. Um, I was blaming it on a lot of other things. I was able to cope, I think, a lot longer than most people because I already had a lot of the lifestyle things implemented from my illness about, oh, 25 years earlier. So we couldn't figure out what was going on. I ate all organic, a vegan, we use no chemicals. We do everything so clean and we couldn't figure out. And my integrative medical doctor could not figure out what was going on. Um, I finally in 2020, I believe it was 2020, um, went to a new doctor who right away said it's tick born. I was developing other symptoms. Um, I was having what I thought at the time were panic attacks a lot of GI symptoms, a lot of frequent bowel movement. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, we couldn't figure out what was making me sick. I thought, oh, it's this food. It's that food. I started going on every diet known to man. I was on low histamine, low FODMAP. Um, I did uh, sulfite-free. I'm already a vegan, was sugar-free, wheat-free, corn-free, soy-free. <laughs> I went through a year where I ate nothing but chickpeas, rice, and kale and oatmeal. Um, and we couldn't quite figure it out. I was getting very concerned about my limited eating and my inability to start introducing more foods. And that is how I found the Gupta program. My symptoms have improved greatly. Um, they've changed uh, the biggest change for me the other night, I said to my husband, am I really that much better? And he just laughed at me. What the biggest change is, I am not a symptom-free, healthy person yet. Um, I will be one day. But the biggest change for me is before I would get symptom A, and symptom A would then trigger symptom B, C, D, E. And symptom A would almost vanish immediately, but I would be stuck with B, C, D, and E for a few days a few weeks, sometimes up to six weeks, and I would just be decimated. Now, if I get symptom A, sometimes that's it and it's gone in 10 minutes. Sometimes I might start to get symptom B. It'll last for a few hours, at most a little bit into the next day. And that to me has been the biggest change. And that is where I can step back and see the hypothesis and what really is happening how my body, I'm in cell danger response, um, what we call the loop, I guess. If I am starting to get a symptom and I get anxious, I will sit down and do a 40 minute soften and flow. And how it works for me is initially, usually that symptom starts to get a little worse because I'm focusing. And then by the end, almost across the board, it is 50 to hundred percent better, tremendously better. So a big change, a big change with my relationship is our life is not spent literally 23 out of 24 hours of the day talking about my condition it is taking it from being a center part of my life um, to just being a small part of what my life is right now.